New underwater robot is working in Lake Erie, investigating algae blooms and toxins, but sometimes research doesn't go as planned. This is really fascinating. Our Paula Tutman was there. A scientist searched for a runaway robot, and we sent cameras underground, underwater, I should say, to capture amazing video of this scientific cliffhanger. Pretty impressive operation when a very important, very expensive underwater research robot slips its cable and disappears. These guys have to go in after it. Earlier on First at Four, we showed you the research being done to track waterborne toxins by a research team from NOAA Great Lakes Environmental Research Lab and University of Michigan Cooperative Institute for Great Lakes Research. You need only look at this midday wake to see the importance of the research project. That emerald green scum is an algae called microcystis. It photosynthesizes in the warm sunlight, eats up the lake's nutrients, grows. The bloom also creates a toxin that can hurt mammals when ingested. The team deployed a first of its kind for the Great Lakes, a $375,000 underwater robot named ESP Niagara. And then we use that information uh, along with uh, models to be able to inform the water intake managers and public uh, where the algal bloom is presently located, how intense it is, uh, how much toxin is associated with it. Only when they went to retrieve ESP Niagara today from its very first mission, it had slipped its cable. So it should be right about here. And so an equally cool robot was rushed to LaSalle from Ann Arbor. Using underwater cameras and onboard sonar, the team looks for irregularities on the floor of Lake Erie. Try it up there. 150 square feet doesn't seem like much unless you're looking for your robot. But then it's spotted. Oh, hey. Whoa, wow. It now needs to be hooked with a carabiner. One underwater robot makes contact with the other underwater robot. Get it hooked? Get it hooked. Wow. And success. Good job. So far, so good. Now we got to get it back on board. And we start swinging in. Okay. Keep yourselves clear. But you knew they would find it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't seem very sure. Yes, I knew that one way or another it would happen. So, of course, this isn't the end of the mission. This is really just the beginning because Emily's got to get it back to the lab, get it cleaned up, and get it ready to be deployed again in September. Paula Tutman, Local 4.